While more homes are indeed receiving basic municipal services and 11.8 million households or consumer units are receiving water in South Africa, the number of people on the bucket toilet system is going up. There are some of the findings of the latest annual non-financial census of municipalities conducted by Stati Statistics South Africa. Well, the census found that between 2012 and 2013, the number of people receiving basic municipal services has risen. Well, Dr. Patrick Naidu is the executive manager for government financial statistics at StatsSA, and we're live to him now at our Pretoria studios. Good afternoon, Dr. Naidu, and thank you for your time on the PM News Desk. Hi, Kirsten. How are you? Okay, one of the most demeaning systems of the apartheid regime uh, still lingers on. Uh, six years ago, the government set 2014 as the target for eradicating the bucket toilet system, but it just looks like that is not happening, Doctor, if the numbers, of course, are anything to go by. Um, there's a number of factors to consider when looking at the, uh, the, the trend. For example, in most cases, we find that the informal settlements which are emerging uh, the municipalities have to provide some interim measure and in many cases we find that the uh, measures provided tend to be short term and over the longer period they are being addressed. Uh, for example, we find the issue of migration as well also contributes to uh, municipalities being placed under pressure to provide some infrastructure or some facilities until they provide something more permanent. Uh, doctor, the number of households using bucket toilets, uh, according to your survey, rose uh, by between 10% between 2012 and 2013. Uh, but how many households are we actually talking about? We're looking at what we refer to as consumer units. These are units which the municipality uh, use as a building point. There's about 10 million. So the 99,000, while it's not welcome, it's certainly not a, uh, a large number in terms of percentages that people are su suffering under the bucket system. Mm. Uh, well, the Eastern Cape and the Free State faring quite badly. In fact, the Eastern Cape saw the biggest increase. Uh, can you put a figure on this for us? It's glaring that just two municipalities here accounted for 71% of all the additional households uh, using bucket toilets. The two biggest ones were the Nelson Mandela Metro and the KUKA case. And in the case of Nelson Mandela, for example, just to put things in perspective again, up to 80 million rand has been kept aside in the next three to five years to address it. Some of the places that we can mention include Timothy Valley, uh, Langa, uh, for example, Polar Park, Airport, Valley. Um, these are cases where simply the growth of the area means that the municipality is unable to provide immediate infrastructure of a permanent nature. Mm. All right, Doctor, let's move to KwaZulu-Natal. Now, your survey showed the, that's the, the province with the next uh, highest increase, uh, jumping from mm. naught in 2012 to 1,585. Uh, but the yeah. fact is that the new households reported are in one municipality. Uh, this might indeed make it easier for the Premier to sort out the problem. Exactly. Uh, in our discussions with the respondent regarding this issue, it's clear that measures have been put in place. Uh, we will only be able to indicate what's happened in the next 12 months in our 2014 non-financial census. But we are aware that measures are being taken to address the issue. Uh, sadly, there are some municipalities uh, which are indeed slipping, though. I mean, they had eradicated the, the bucket system in 2012. Uh, but uh, last year, we see the numbers are now a big step backward in their progress uh, toward the service delivery uh, targets. Uh, which are these municipalities? Uh, for example, again, we can look, for example, at your Joe Kwaba in uh, Eastern Cape and a few other places in the uh, in Sunduzi you've mentioned. Mafube has got 405. These, again, simply a case of a combination of uh, migration and a combination of growing informal settlements that require a bit more time to resolve on a permanent basis. Uh, doctor, it's not all bad news, though. I mean, even in the Eastern Cape, there seem to be uh, some success stories. I mean, 30 of the province's uh, 39 uh, local municipalities here reported no bucket toilets at all. Tell us about these. Okay, uh, for example, in most cases, Ikweze, uh, and for example, George, Merofong, and other cases as well have indicated that they've been installed, for example, uh, flush toilet chemical system, VIP toilet system, and something more permanent, including your septic tanks. There are, as I said, uh, attempts to resolve it, and some of these measures indicate that they are moving in the right direction. Uh, 
Thank you. Dr. Patrick Naidu is the Executive Manager for Government Financial Statistics uh, at Stats SA. Thank you for your time on the PM News Desk.